Um, hello, so I had this issue with this project I'm working on. Uh, I figured I'd record it in okay, case so it might be helpful to somebody. So these here, this is an aluminum stairs. Uh, some of these elements here are stainless steel and these are aluminum. Excuse me. This is a. I have a extra wide screen, so it's a little hard. Uh, so let me see that I've been tricking around with it a little bit, so that has changed. But that's aluminum or aluminium, depending on where you are, and so are these. So the problem I have is uh, if I put this in the proper representation, you'll see I put this. So we model this in as an 8x8 tube. So it's 8x8 by, eight by half inch tube. And then I just changed the material to aluminum. But then I discovered afterwards that an aluminum stringer doesn't have a radius on it. That it has a square corner. So uh, let me isolate these members. So if I take this stringer, so you can see it's cutting through the stringer here. So... Um, I'll, sorry, my tool pallets are off here, so I use this. I, I've turned off and said by accident, sorry, I did the wrong one. So let's pick the two of these, and I want to keep these on, and we can see what we're doing here. So these are the two elements, and you see how this was originally cut, so I wanted this to be really tight. Uh, to make it look nice so but now we've discovered that these aluminum stringers are square on the corner so uh, the options are at the minute I can I can change this to the wireframe so you can see this is the contour I cut out of it I can change this contour to zero and that change all these corners including that last one and now we're good. So what I could do is I can just change the representation back. So now in my model, this will look correct. But when I output this in a drawing, unless I change the visibility to not have exact, it'll come out with rounded corners. So I could continue like this and just set the drawing style, but it's probably better practice to create a new one. So I have already created a new one. So I'll go through the process again. So I've created this file, aluminum HSS sections and do save as, and I've saved that in a folder in the shared, which is USA um, user sections. So I create a user sections folder myself. So if I want to create another one of these let's say we want to do a six so this is an eight by eight so i've already created the one i want so i figured i'd just show you how to create a six by six maybe so basically everything is controlled by the layer that it's on sorry delete that so what we can do is we can copy these elements across and we'll copy and i'll copy this across here and we'll change this to six by six by half inch and we'll obviously need to edit this so this is two inches smaller that direction two inches that direction and you could do an offset again but it's probably just as easy just keep doing that all right so that's the section i want that's the exact section so if you see it's on the exact outer section and this one is on the exact inner section this is my type name and this is my section name and try and keep everything inside the box so go back to your extended modeling and we want to pick now you got to be particular with this see the way this it, it doesn't snap right on the corners so the best practice really is to just go through all these like this and um, that's not the right one sorry delete that one uh go back here and pick center top pick it there and you'll see the orientation is wrong on these 
and uh, there's no real good explanation for why they're wrong as far as I know so what you're going to do is just put them in first uh, pretty close and it's not going to be super accurate and then you have to go back and, and move them around a little bit because they don't exactly snap and you might think they might be snapping on the corner like if I go there but you can see it doesn't snap to the corner so pick this one and pick this other bottom corner and then I'll go back and just pick that and move it and this seems to be the best practice for putting these in so that's center and then I want to go I'm waiting for the triangle there it is same again move the corner move so it's, it'll, it'll take you a minute you know obviously it's not super quick it'd be better if they snapped but just be aware that they don't seem to snap um, unless somebody knows something I don't which is quite very likely I guess uh, move from there to there uh, yeah that's on the corner so you want to have these correct or you know your modeling will be all over the place it won't be accurate so because you'll think you're putting it in on the center point and it won't be so I'm having difficulty finding the midpoint there so let's just snap to the midpoint and same here and then we'll just do the one in the middle and that'll be the end of that uh, midpoint and we'll do one last one in the middle we'll just put it there and then move here and then the midpoint between oh mm, I have to make sure I picked the right one now it's this one sorry move and I should have picked the midpoint between two points instead of the midpoints so the midpoint between this one and this one and that's my midpoint all right so I've created that now if I go back in here uh, if I create a section you'll see that I've already created the, um, Let's go to home, other sections, and other profiles, and all aluminum HSS. You can see there's only one in there, and it's the 8x8 one, and I've just changed it to that. And what I'll do is check the properties. So it's I've made that pretty short, so it's 50 pounds. So we want to change the material on that. Now the material is good, so that's fine. So now what we want to do is go back in here. We want to generate this one. I've already generated this one. So go back up to the extended modeling tab and just generate selected sections and then just select that. The aluminum six by six by half inch has been created successfully. Go back to the model. And sorry, I just want to refresh. I don't know if I have to, but I always like to do it anyway. And then select on this, and there's your six by six. And the position should be correct, yeah. So you can position it. So now I'll just put that in instead of the other one. And when it comes out in a drawing, it'll come out as a square edge and not as this one would come out with a. with this um, radius corner on it. So uh, that might be of help to somebody. I don't know. Maybe that's that was my workaround. Well, not a workaround. That's what I needed to do. I was going to do a workaround. Anyway, if you're interested in these videos, please subscribe. At least I'll know people are interested in watching them. And uh, all right, next time. Thank you. Bye.